girlfriends. My name is Annalise Harris, and I'm the founder of Curls on the Block, a nonprofit attracting girls of all curls and color to embrace, explore, and empower their natural selves using beauty to connect with steam. Quick question. Is there a curl-friendly salon or stylist near you? Did you know that 60% of the world's population has curls, coils, and waves? Well, our adolescent curl friends' issues of self-esteem are rooted in a lack of knowledge about hair care maintenance, techniques. They're spending way too much money on products that may not actually be the best for their hair porosity. And it's challenging for them to simply find a salon or stylist encouraging them to stay curly. With all of these curly folks facing similar issues, Curls on the Block is here to teach our curl friends how to stay curly, lean on a community of support, and pursue careers and spaces that need their voice. How are we doing that? By building self-esteem with our programming, our pageant, and the app. Early and intentional engagement in STEAM can lead to careers and fields underrepresented by the curly community. We can create a curl-friendly world with our voices in these spaces as beauty chemists, engineers improving the detangling process, and even a doctor who takes the time to re-braid their patient's hair after a surgery. Our programming has reached over 500 students in five states. We have done during school facilitation, after school sessions with community organizations, and now have expanded to send curly activity kits straight to our curl friends' homes. Our programming it starts with embracing, where they learned about the black doll test and the history of braiding. They're exploring careers in STEAM and connecting to STEAM, learning their hair porosity and which products are good for their hair porosity by doing a product ingredient analysis. We encourage our, our participants to be contestants in the Miss Curly Self-Esteem pageant. There's three categories in this pageant, cultural appreciation, healthy and active lifestyles, and STEAM innovation, asking contestants to come up with an idea, product, or service using STEAM that addresses a need in the curly community. Those queens become ambassadors for the curly community and continue to create curly content. Our curly queendom has over 20 queens and currently three national queens and four state queens. Well. We wanted to be able to reach all those curls on the block, so we developed the Curls on the Block app, which has a number of features, which include curly cash rewards by completing different activities, enrolling in the curly EDU with feature courses, and the main question I asked at the beginning, a curly directory with a list of curl-friendly stylists and salons in their area. Maybe they're at the store and want to identify which products are actually the best for their hair porosity, and so they can check out the curly content. Well, we want you to help us build the block. Get us into schools and bring our programming there. Sponsor the Miss Curly pageant. And finally, investing in the Curls on the Block app, which would include a curly cash e-commerce, which curl friends would be able to complete activities and earn prizes. Um, increasing it, the directory for those salons and stylists and continuing to develop resources with engaging content for our curl friends to stay curly. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I support you because as you can see, I, I am also a fellow curly. Um, can you just talk about your different revenue streams? Um, you, there was a lot to unpack there. And also, I wasn't clear, are you a for-profit or non-profit model? We are currently a non-profit and have been such as since uh, 2017. And to answer that first question, we are able to get contracts with schools. And so that has been a, the initial launching pad to be able to get curriculum into the school, pays for um, products and the workbooks and a facilitator. The pageant has been another opportunity to host events where we can get sponsorships, but also sell tickets to participate in the event. Even with COVID, we were actually able to host the pageant virtually and had a competition where in order to view it and vote for the people's choice, folks had to buy a ticket at um, and, and support their people's choice winner and queen. And um, the curly activity kits actually have been sent out to a number of different locations, including a school district, which um, purchased a, a number of them uh, a set for their students 
to uh, then meet us online. So it's been really interesting. And obviously the pivot actually was really because of COVID and all of the, uh, you know, blocks to access kids, <laughs> but we had to get to where they were. And we already had the app. So we were able to um, actually develop more programming on the Curls on the Block um, Curly EDU platform, where there's a mixture of paid and free uh, programming. The, the app is live now, so you could even check it out, download now and, and see it. But um, we have um, even virtual escape rooms, which are which have been a really cool way to engage with students and our curl friends, where it's not just, a, you know, they log in and, and are just getting lectured to or, you know, it's not as limiting. It's very self-paced and they seem to enjoy that. Thank you. Uh, great presentation. I have two beautiful daughters that have curly hair. Uh, they did not get it from their father. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, j just a, a question for you in regards to uh, partnerships or affiliate links with some of the products and things that you suggest and recommend for your clients. Have you tried to reach out to any of those uh, manufacturers for any type of affiliate links or any type of percentage of sales that you kind of drive their way? Well, that's definitely one of the primary goals for the an update for the app, the Curls on the Block app, because that has been a missing piece. I was a sped educator, so a lot of my time was caught up teaching. And so now that I've been able to transition, uh, um, I have a lot uh, more time to focus and expand my team. I have interns and other volunteers, as well as I'm able to compensate folks to who can complete certain projects like that. But that is exactly why I, what I saw as a missing, not missing opportunity, but one to come in phase two of the app and updates. Thank you for that question. Annalise, you're, uh, I love the name. It has uh, you know, a <laughs> ton of personality. You have a ton of personality. I'm curious, um, have you, uh, or are you working with influencers or is that something that you've thought of? I have. And, you know, there's pros and cons to working with influencers, um, but I'm creating influencers with the Miss Curly Self-Esteem pageant, really emboldening their em encouraging the contestants and even queens to be those influencers. So, you know, they're attached to curls in the block. So I get a little bit <laughs> of a special treatment and consideration, but um, we do have the curly queens as ambassadors and to become those influencers. So women and girls who maybe didn't consider themselves influencers and maybe have curl patterns that um, show up um, or are less likely to be represented in mainstream, definitely encouraging them to take that on and, and do the tutorials and and try products and share their experiences but i do have a lot uh, i do have a couple of friends who have more than twenty thousand followers who have been supportive of um curls on the block and um that is another uh phase of the experience <laughs> for the app and for programming even got it thanks that makes sense Vote for your favorite pitch by visiting www.sheraise.com, select a city, enter the donation for the pitches you love, and don't forget to leave feedback and or hype comments for our founders.